Okay, people, here we go. With another pickups video. Um, not a fantastic amount of stuff this time, but I've managed to pick up quite a few bargains, uh, which I'll uh, prize you with later on. Um, right, um, well, we've got any preamble waffle today, so we'll get straight into it. Um, right now, the first thing I'm going to show you is the um, it's the new Titans of Cult release, which is the Watchmen. Sadly, I've already got this on 4K, but because I collect the uh, Titans of Cult, we had to have it. And so these have gone up to 34.99 now, so they're not you know, mega cheap, but you do get a few extras with them. So if you like the series, well, they're worth keeping up with. I still still have managed to. So I managed to pick up the um, the very first Blade Runner one because that's getting to silly prices now. So we'll just uh, unbox this for you. And we're going to look. Right, get into it. Okie doke. Where are we? Oh, plastic everywhere. Yep, yeah, we're getting there. Okay, plastic off. Okay, so there we go. There's the Perspex box. I'll say this, uh, I've, already, I've already seen this in 4K because I have the, the, the special 4K edition with the and what have you. Right, so what we have first is um, a little packet here and we have, yeah, of course we do, we have some, have some Rorschach cards. One, number two, and number three, Batman. Got that one. That one's easy. So, yep, that's the little... They always give you a little extra. It's normally a poster, but this time we've got some Rorschach cards. And this is the usual pin uh, that you get with these. It's normally an absolute swine to get out, so I don't know if I'm going to even bother. I'm not, oh, well, <laughs> might help if I tried the right side, yeah. This one's, this one's easier. I'll give you a closer look at it. Uh, I must admit I'm not familiar with the, with the image. I presume it's something to do with Dr. Manhattan. But, um, there you go, that's a pin for you. Jacket, coat, dress, tie, whatever. Whichever you prefer. And... Here we have a rather nice steel book. Yeah, I must say these um, Titans of Cult people normally manage to to get a decent steel book inside. I've never seen any of that being absolute rubbish. Um, so you've got um, you've got two discs there of the of the ultimate cut, and I presume the other one will just be the plain old special features on Blu-ray, which it is. So there you go. I don't know if there's any any artwork worth seeing behind there. Uh, side of it anyway, I'm not going to take the other two discs out, you get the idea. Yep, so that's the latest of the Titans of Cult. Right, I'll just stick that out the way because I can't be bothered putting it all back together. Right, okay. So sadly that's the only steel book um, I have to report uh, for this month. Um, 
So we'll jump straight on to uh, the games. Right, um, now I've been showing you quite a few of these lately. This is the, um, the Avocade retro machine. Um, I mean, if any of you are really interested in retro games, it's well worth picking this up. I mean, you get the handheld, and um, we well, used to be able to get a box set with three games in for about 60 quid, which is a bargain. The games are about 15 quid each. Um, but now I think in most places you only get one game in, which is still not too bad. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, all, all of these are numbered. I've got most of them up to number 20 now. I think I need a couple. Um, anyway, that's number 12, the Oliver Twins collection. <coughs> and um, that's all the... You can see it there. That's um, mostly all of the Dizzy games that they did, which were quite famous back in the day. And any other odds and ends that they did. Um, so you always get a nice little booklet with these and cartridge is very nice very sturdy so um, yeah that's um, number 12 and then I've been collecting a few of the later ones that's the indie heroes collection one there's nothing there's nothing on there that I recognize but they'll just be old indie games that popped up on some platform somewhere or other um, I think he actually gets some. Um, he actually gets some stickers with this one, yeah. Yeah, a little bunch of twelve stickers, which I assume represents the um, the characters within the games that are involved here. So, yeah, it's quite nice. I have number 18, which is the Worms collection. Um, I suppose most of you know about retro games, will be familiar with Worms. Uh, this one has Worms, Worms Armageddon and Worms Blast. Um, I don't know if you get anything free with this. Yes, you do. You get a, you get a little poster tucked in. Um, I think it's just an advert actually on one side. It's, um, it's just a poster for the world collection, which you've already bought. Uh, and then there's a, a little advert for the rest of the games that you can, you can buy. So as I say, I've got most of those anyway, so of uh, no particular interest to me. Yeah, and then um, the last one I got was number 20. So as I say, I have, I have, I think, 18 of the 20, so I've got another couple there to pick up Mega Cat Studios collection. There is, um, I think there is a shooter on there, so that might be of uh, interest to me. <coughs> but I'm not familiar with Mega Cat Studios, and, but uh, that's the second collection that they've done, so... Um, yeah, so that was the that was the avocado stuff. Now we've got some inter kind of interesting um, smop, uh, <laughs> switch schmups. <laughs> uh, so that's um, a fairly new game, Andro Dunos Two. <coughs> it's a follow up to Andro Dunos, which came out way way back um, on Neo Geo. You know the big carts. That uh, used to stick into the Neo Geo console. Um, these were based on arcade games as well. These were in the arcades. Well, I don't. I've ever seen Android Junos in the actual arcades, but most of the um, Neo Geo Home <coughs> cartridges appeared in the in the arcades. And um, this actually, you. you it always upsets me when I open something and there's no booklet inside. You know, there's a couple of little grips for it, but all you get is a little cartridge. 
But um, yeah, that, that that one you can't actually find on the high street. You've got to go to somewhere like like Amazon to pick that up. This one's slightly different. Uh, it's um, very well thought of shooter called Rolling Gunner. Um, now that's from Strictly Limited Games, so obviously you can only get that from them. Um, I just bought this on eBay from a seller who was selling it quite reasonably. And um, inside this one you do have a little, little fold-up map which gives you the uh, buttons, you know, the control buttons. I'm not going to undo it all because I'm not going to get back in. But um, yeah, that one's a rolling gunner. So if you're in the shops, uh, I mean, Strictly Limited always gives you a little postcard with their games. <coughs> but ridiculously, I mean, it, it doesn't fit into the box. If it was just slightly less wide, it would actually, you could actually fit it into your box. But um, no dice grandma doesn't... Uh, <laughs> Doesn't happen, I never understand that. So I have to have it hanging about somewhere and I hope I don't lose it. Um, now this was a nice little bargain I picked up in, in game yesterday. Um, Project Card 3, 4 Um And originally it was a lot more than 15 I mean that's come down quite a bit since the original. I don't know how old this game is now, it's probably getting on a bit. But uh, I've got Project Cars 1 and 2, so I thought I would add to the collection because I do collect racing games and um, shmups. So I was quite happy to pay a fiver for that brand new. Um, yeah, all it's got inside is a, a disc and a advert for buying stuff off their site, wherever they are. Um, that's that one, and then I picked up this for the PS5 um, on the strength of it. This looked interesting to me. I mean, I'm not a big fan of these sort of like uh, run and loot, shoot and loot, whatever they call them, uh, type of games. You can see a few screenshots on the back there, but it's one of these top down sort of like shoot is where you run around but apparently it's very easy to die in this game so um, maybe it's not but it just looked interesting I, it was you know it was about 15 quid I think um, in one of the shops Kex or somewhere so I decided to pick it up just in case I ever get fed up with playing uh, Destiny which is highly unlikely but um, yeah you get a bit of um, DLC, which for obvious reasons I won't show you, although it's probably been used. And then unusually, um, you get a nice little, nice little booklet with it as well. It's, um, it's an art booklet of all the characters in the game. That's always the welcome addition. Um, and as soon as I bought this one second hand, I suppose that uh, unfortunately it's still there. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I thought for 15 quid PS5 game wasn't too bad. Now the, the only other game I've got to show you is an interesting one to me. Because um, the first retro machine I ever bought was a Spectrum back in 1983. Um, and the first two games I ever bought were, um, I think, Luna, a, a jetpack game, a Jetpack, not Luna Jetman, that's something else. It was Jetpack and a game called Zoom. And I went online to see how much the original games were. Now, the Jetpack game is quite expensive, but this is the very, very first game I bought ever. So it's of great nostalgic value to me. Um, it's, as I say, it's for the Spectrum 48K. It comes on cassette <laughs> our technology has moved on um, but it's I mean you know it's in, in quite nice condition a little bit a little bit scratchy on the box but you expect that after 30 years and that was the princely sum of three pounds including postage so uh, I was delighted to pick that up because it's a nice bit of 
and a nice bit of nostalgia for me personally. So, but I'm afraid Jetpack will have to wait because that is, um, that's way above my budget at the minute. Okay, um, elsewhere, I picked up another couple of these nice um, pulp facsimiles that I've been showing you. Um, this is the spider number seven. Um, you get two stories in. Uh, it's a shame they don't put the full, the other full cover on the back. You know, I mean, there's plenty of room for it, but maybe they need to advertise something. I don't know, but um, yeah. Um, I like these, um, and I, I pick these up fairly reasonably, bearing in mind, you know, you have to go to America to normally get them, and then the shipping and what have you. But yeah, that's number seven, and we've got number six also. So that gives me the first eight now. Um, I've got numbers one to eight of these. I think there are a few more to get, but we'll just take it bit by bit, because... Um, you don't run across them too often in this country. And I think I've probably bought all eight of mine off the same guy. You know, he's just been putting them up bit by bit. So, yeah, pleased with those. Right, we'll have a quick look at the, um, the comic book releases that I've bought in the past month. Um, that's, the, that's the new Hulk series by Donny Cates, who I love. Oh, I used to love these stuff, not so good these days, in my opinion, but there you go. I think that's the last part of the Hulk story uh, story arc that he's doing. I haven't read it, so I can't tell you anything about it. Um, and that is the second but last part of the, uh, the Eternals, the second series, um, which ends with number 12. that one um, and then I think I got these just last week that's um, I think that's just a Dune one-off um, I, mean, I mean I love Dune I love the novel I love, I love the film um, yeah the artwork is so so in these you know it's um, not what I would say absolutely brilliant but it's you know it's passable so you know I've been picking up all of the June titles anyway um, this is I haven't actually read the um, the the one to five numbers one to five of the hammer of uh, hammer of was it the god of hammers uh, thing that Donny Cates did so I have to get around to those but anyway that is the new um, 750th special issue um, of Thor, and I assume that has something to do with the with the last series, which is a bit of a spoiler. But uh, nevertheless, as I say, that was um, that was about seven pound fifty, uh, seven fifty for one comic. Always seems weird to me. I mean, back in the day, I could buy a whole week's worth of Marvel and DC for that. Um, that is the penultimate issue in the. Silver Surfer Rebirth series. I've read one to three. I haven't got around to reading this one yet. But um, I really like it because it's a bit of a throwback to the old 70s, 80s Surfer Thanos uh, sort of stuff that uh, a lot of you are probably not old enough to to know about. But I do and I love it. Um, and then that is the penultimate issue of the, the Joker series, I believe. These have all had very nice covers. Um, so, yeah, I think there's one more to go of those. And that is the second issue of uh, One Dark Knight. I think it's a three issue jobby, so I showed you the other one last time. That's the second issue. As I say, the artwork's by Jock, who I, uh, I quite like. Dynamic stuff, you know. So uh, yeah, that was that was that one. Um, I picked up from Amazon the fourth, showing you the Evercade cartridges earlier. They're doing a like a, a fanzine type magazine now. Amazon are printing it, and you can get it from them. Um, so that's I've got one to three. That's the fourth issue. 
basically just one big advert for the for the machine and the games but um because it's an online only thing um i think it's well worth picking up because they'll be hard to find in the future now bargain wise here we go now it's all if you've got a local forbidden planet it's always worth popping in because my one in Newcastle always has some decent bargains. I'll show you, for instance, I mean, this is a set of hardbacks, um, Chronicles of Legion. There's four issues. And as you can see, they're 99 pence each, down from a tenner. And you get three for two. So, you know, mathematics will tell you that these didn't cost me very much. I bought all four for about three quid. <laughs> which is, you know, for hardback books is pretty ridiculous. Um, and so that is issue number one. And the artwork is... Mm, so I'll find a decent example. The artwork's okay-ish. Um, but, um, yeah, I would imagine it's um, it's a decent read. I would hope so. That was um trying to spot the space here. That was number one. That was number two. That was number three. I do have nice covers in mind. And this here was the final number four. So here you are, you get all four in the set. Uh, cost me a princely sum of three quid for four hardbacks, ten quid hardbacks. Not bad, is it? <laughs> but even you know, even better than that. Um, I rolled up with found this last week. Um, okay, I mean, a lot of you might not be familiar with this guy, um, but it's a um, forty-five quid book, down to two quid. Um, Windsor McKay was an artist back in the late 1800s, early 1900s, who did a character called Little Nemo in Slumberland. I have four, four of the hardbacks, and it, it, I mean, for, for the time period, it's absolutely amazing stuff. Um, and this is kind of like a, a, a mashup of fact and fiction uh, surrounding uh, Windsor McKay, who was the who was the artist. Um, the artwork is not wholly to my taste. Um, an example here. But um, I dare say it's one of those things that you get used to over time. But um, yeah, it's, um, as I say, it's like, like a fantasy story and a, and a biography rolled into one. And I thought for two quid, why not? Um, right, which leads me on to the last of the bargain basement. Um, been buying some more nerfs, haven't I? Uh, now these all came from games, so it's worth checking them out if you if you're into nerfs. I'll just roll back a bit. Right now, I managed to pick up this little jobby. Right, couple you get a couple of guns, handguns with loads of bullets, 70 bullets, or 68 is it? Yeah, 68 bullets. Uh, and that was a princely sum of, the price was on it, yeah it is. Uh, where is it? Yeah, down there. <laughs> princely sum of a tenner, but there was, as you can see there, there was 20% off that, so I got it for eight. So all those bullets and a couple of guns uh, for eight quid, which I thought was a bit of a bargain. Um, weird thing about it is, <laughs> I've also got another one there with one gun and just a few bullets for 20 quid. So I don't know how that works, really don't know how that works, but um, I'm not worried because I thought that was a bit of a bargain. You can see, I haven't opened any of these yet. And um, right, that's um, that's a Nerf End Strike Ruckus. Um, Quite a nice little 
Oh god man, if I have a look at it. Queer looking thing with with the with the magazine at the front there. But uh, I mean obviously these are not new guns but um, I like these elite type of guns and that was that was a tenner with uh, twenty percent off again so that was another eight quid uh, for an interesting looking Nerf gun. Oh, there's a nice picture of it on the on the back of it. Yeah, so I was um, I was a bit chuffed with that, and then I rolled into the game last week, and they had just brought these down in price. Um, so that was just nine quid for this epic looking jobby here. Um, I'll move back a bit so you can see it a bit better. Yeah, I mean, you, you, this one carries a drum, as you can see down here, um, and a load of bullets as well. Um, yeah, so for a tenner, you know, you get 30 bullets, uh, drum fed gun. Um, I don't know if it's battery operated, if it is, it should be epic. And that is the um. I don't think it is battery operated by the look of it. Um, and you get this nice got this nice barrel attachment as well. Here yeah, up to the front here. Um, up here and yeah, I mean it just looks like a pretty epic nerf gun to me. And that is um, a nerf elite shockwave RD15. So yeah, I mean that was down from 20 quid to 10. And as I say, they just come down the very morning that, um, that I went in. So I got lucky and then we had this lovely looking thing. Behind the squad. Yeah. And you get, um, you get 12 bullets with that. Um, and it says break open loading, so I assume it's some sh 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 some sort of hand, a cannon, hand cannon, and uh, that was down from 15 to, to 8. This will be a more modern one, you know. So yeah, I mean I've done well on the, on the nerf front, there's a nice little picture of it on the, on the back there. So yeah. Quite pleased with those. When the weather gets a bit warmer, I'll be unloading, unpacking those, and getting them out in the backyard and getting some bottles set up. So yeah, that was it, guys. That was my uh, my little collection of gear. Uh, as you say, as you can see, there were some canny bargains amongst that lot. So okay, that's uh, that's all I have to show you this time. Um, I'll be back shortly with um, with a few more. Uh, vintage science fiction, a couple more vintage science fiction videos because I've picked up some stuff off eBay and um, I'm sure I've got another couple in the pipe pipeline as well. So yeah, thank you for turning up. Uh, please continue to uh, like, uh, support and, you know, if you can, share the videos. Um, you know, it'd be nice to get a bit of a wider audience because um, viewing figures are are going down a bit but I mean I, I understand why because not everybody likes science fiction um, so yeah if you can share a few of those I would uh, really appreciate it and thanks again for all of your support okay until next time I will see you then bye bye now